It's another episode of Fishing Alabama Waters, and I'm your host, Mandy Teenage. And I am eating one of the best candy bars ever made on earth. I'm just saying. It's so good! And we're gonna do an unboxing. My brother from another mother, from a different color, my boy Andy, he sent me a, um, <laughs> it's just so good. <laughs> it's just so good. He sent me a lure for my birthday. He didn't tell me what it was. Don't you hate when people smack when they eat? He didn't tell me what it was, but so since he didn't tell me what it was, I figured, hey, let's do an unboxing. I can't go fishing because he's raining every time I want to go fishing. So I figured we'll do an unboxing. <laughs> I'm telling y'all, man, this is adding up bar good. If y'all ain't never tried one of these, y'all gotta try one. Anyway, let's bust it open and see what's inside. Alright. Mm. I ain't got no knife. Gotta open it up like a man. Freshwater Series Pro Sizzle. Okay, okay. Everything's cool. So it looks like a, it looks like a snook. It's a living steam lure. It says the difference is clear. Oh, let's bust it. Up. Looks like a dope little lure. Little chartreuse. Chartreuse. It's it's chartreuse. It's chartreuse and white. <laughs> Nice little color. Let's see here. The Pro Sizzle. EBS technology. Electronic bait fish sounds. Smart chip illuminator. Ooh. So it's got a smart chip. I can see like a battery in here. So supposedly I'm assuming this thing makes sounds. That's pretty dope, man. Hey man, first of all, I want to say I appreciate the lure, bro. You hooked me up, man. That's pretty cool, man. That's a pretty dope little lure, man. So, it's a 3 4 ounce top water bait. Like I said, it looks like a... Did I call it a snook? I think I called it a snook earlier. It's not a snook. It's a spook. <laughs> I'm tripping, man. I'm tripping. This is the snooky lure. You know what I'm saying? She just started making these. <laughs> it's a dope lure, man. I like it, man. I appreciate it, bro. You hooked me up, man. I'm definitely going to throw it. See if I can catch me some five pounders with this thing. Oh, also, I don't know if y'all watched the video. Well, if you haven't watched the video, y'all need to go back and watch my video with um, when they closed the lake down due to the alligator population. Somebody posted a picture yesterday of a 10-foot, 4-inch alligator that they pulled out of the lake. And supposedly they reopened it. I don't know if they got all the gators out. I'm assuming they didn't. But supposedly they reopened it, man. I'm going to post a picture up. Put a picture like right now. Boom. You see the picture? That's a big boy alligator, man. That thing's humongous. And I was in there fishing with that thing. Don't tell my wife. Because she be tripping. But anyways, I appreciate the lure, bro. Oh, yeah. I'm going to show y'all. Appreciate the lure, my brother. I'm going to definitely send you a lure. I mean, you sent me a lure, I got to send you a lure. You know what I'm saying? That's just the way it is, man. That's my homeboy, Andy, by the way. We actually did some fishing together. We went to uh, Gunnersville. Um, it's like halfway between uh, his house and mine. It's like a two-hour trip. But we fished Gunnersville. He caught some fish. I didn't catch anything. And the dude, I, look, he had me on the water from like, I'm talking about like 6 o'clock in the morning until like 6 o'clock in the afternoon. I swear we was on the water all day. We was on the water so long. When I got off the boat, I still felt like I was swimming, man. Like, I was so sick feeling. I was on the water that whole time, and I didn't catch anything. Like, come on. You know what I mean? But me and you going to go, we're going to fish Gunnersville again because I got stumped. I got stumped. 
Y'all know what I meant. I got stumped, man. I wasn't ready for all that grass, man, that hot driller. I wasn't ready for all that. But now I'm ready. So next time I go back, I'm going to bring this lure, too. I'm going to catch something big, man. Hey, man. But as always, I appreciate y'all watching. Y'all keep it pimping. Keep on fishing. And peace out. I got things I got to do, man. Put your hands up. Put your hands up.